Yes, 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 I really like it, sir. I'm sorry, I might edit that out. I did not really... Buna, bine v-am regăsit pe canalul meu de YouTube. I hope you're all doing really well. I am doing great. I really hope everyone else is. So today's video, I thought I would attempt the intro in Romanian. I thought it would be kind of fun, something different. Un video clipul de astăzi, voi încerca un design de machiaj în care culoarea de baze e roz. Mulțumesc pentru watching me on my channel. It has been extremely difficult trying to do this intro and it's taken a lot more than I planned. But anyway, let's get started with makeup. Thank you so much. I helped him. Thank you. <laughs> so I hope you enjoyed my attempt at a Romanian introduction. Wasn't too bad. No, maybe I'll practice. I'll let you know in the next one. Who knows? I don't know. Anyway, as promised, we're going to do a pink kind of vibe today. We're going to see what kind of look I come out with and just general talk about what's happening with me, what's happening with the business, where we're all up to and, you know, what that friendly stuff. I'm boiling again. Honestly, I am warm all the time. So first things first, I'm trying out a new primer. I've got the Ordinary, the High Adherence Silicone Primer. I'm gonna see what it's like. It smells good, it feels good, and I've used it a little bit before, not with filming, and it seems to be doing the job. I really like it, so let's give it a whirl. Let me get my water. I'm very dehydrated. Maybe that's why I'm warm. I can't bloody really regulate my bloody body temperature. So I'll rub that in. Oh, I shaved my head like a branch. <laughs> I shaved my head just before I came on camera. I just got out of the shower, hence why I'm really warm. So my skin is so smooth. Mmm, mmm. Sound like a hubalescence is out of it. Go with a classic Vulcan and Vixen foundation. Right, let's start blending this on my face. Right. I haven't worn makeup in a hot minute. So let's kind of make me look flawless and lovely. I want to look pretty and beautiful. It better be some good makeup if I'm going to achieve that. Oh my word, look at the coverage on that. So I did my mother's makeover today and she agreed to be on camera, so she'll come on camera soon. You all get to leap meet. Meat, not leet. Meet my crazy mother. But we did her makeover today. We straightened her hair. She's the only she's ever straightened her hair in her entire life. She was very surprised with the look. And I didn't use my makeup because I didn't have it with me. <laughs> used her makeup and she said she's not a fan of the foundation she's using because it tends to come off halfway through the day seems to just like migrate off and I think it's because it's a bad formula. I'm not gonna name and shame. Surely you must know who you are. Your foundation's naff. But we did her so she'll be coming on. Um, I'm doing my sister's nails this week which I will film because if you didn't know I'm a qualified nail technician as well. I kind of needed a backup job. What else did I do? Do you know I studied medicine in university? Doing neuroscience, biology. Fun facts about me, if you didn't know. I'm a bit of an all-rounder, you could say. Ah, oh, look how smooth my face is. Yes. Bloody lovely. This is the only downside to having a bald head. You kind of just have to guess where your makeup is going. 
so my shipment of makeup is arriving. It's in Munich at the minute and it will be arriving to me on the first, I think is the first lot of makeup. The second lot arrives just after so then I can get the product imagery done. I've done some descriptions, I can get them on the website. Once everything is here, I can send them off where I need to send it to. Get everything promoted, get everything on. Everyone can try this stuff. I'm really excited for everyone to try it because I'm really happy. I'm really confident that it's very good makeup. I've used a lot of my own makeup. I've used a lot of everybody else's makeup. And I'm, you know, I'm I'm proud actually. It's It's really good. A lot of effort's gone into it. Changing the formulas, mixing different ones getting different styles, I've gone just sick of buying makeup and I go, oh god, I wish it did this. Well, do you know what? Your wish, my wish, their wish, whoever's wish, we've built into one lovely little platform, put it in one product and gone, here's everybody's wishes, right here in this. You know, if you're going to do it, do it properly, I'm not going to do an half ass job. Eyelash. Honestly, I'm so excited for everything to come out. It's been, I think I've been planning it since September. 12th of September. I've been planning it since. You know, if you haven't been watching the news, coronavirus has kind of set me back a bit. It's difficult with getting transport and getting shipping and just getting everything done it was quite difficult but your boy did it it's all sorted it'll be arriving soon I am looking into and designing wait for it makeup brushes all different styles of foundation brushes mascara brushes mascara brushes eyebrow brushes eye brushes, cheek brushes, the whole works. I think I'll do that with a beautiful bag. I'm not going to tell you what colour they are, I might probably mention it in another video. I'm not going to mention it again. Because, well I've seen them in person, so we've altered the style a little bit. And we've gone for what I think will be best. And that is the one we'll be releasing. That is the one we'll be releasing. Just got to keep his bow. Bronzer. Blend in the side of my face, down towards my cheek. Do the same on this side. It's difficult for me. Oh, look at them hairs I missed when I shaved. It's difficult for me to blend because, you know, I don't never know where to go. It was really easy when I had a beard because my beard used to come to here and I was like, well, that's clearly just where I put the bronzer. Those are very helpful. NGL. Thin my face down a little bit. I don't look like this in person. Without any makeup on. I look terrifying. I'm funny though, I suppose. If anybody knows me, I'm quite funny. I suppose that doesn't really come across on camera. I can't really tell you a joke. I'm not really a joke kind of guy. I'm more of a terrified to fit in kind of guy. Make a joke under pressure to release the release release relieve the awkwardness. That's more uh, my style. How's everyone doing over coronavirus? Schools in Wales went back today. Didn't realise until I saw a lot of people in uniform when I was out driving. Confused me a little bit. I forgot. Have my nails booked in. I'm very excited for. But actually, it's going to be two different videos. But as soon as I film this, I'm going to do my nails so you can see. I'm going to show you how to do gel nails. But um, I can do acrylic nails, but I can't form them. I have to. Um, I have to put tips on and do it like that. So I got my acrylics done. 
because it takes me hours and it's, just, it's not worth it. It takes so long, honestly, you can just pay someone, done. It's much nicer. It's just called um, Zoe. Zoe's going to do them. I'm using that them. She does them super long, like I like them. She's super fast and they're just perfect every time. I'm supposed to look at my nails done. And I have my lip fillers booked in, so keep an eye out for that video. She was very lovely and said, yes, it's fine to film. So I'll show you the video of her sticking the needle in, doing whatever she needs to do. Don't worry, she's a lovely lady. That's why I'm going back. I like her, I trust her. She makes me feel comfortable. What's that? What's it called? The um, setting spray. Found it. Do not panic. Damp your brush. I'm gonna use the Urban Decay Illuminated Highlighter because it's pretty. We're using this one because I like to mix it up. You know, yes, I've got my own brand of cosmetics, but you know, you gotta use everything. Otherwise, you don't know how to make them better. Is that snaky? Mm. Let me just stick a little bit of blush just to warm my cheeks up a bit. ever put in blush on make sure you put it on the apples of your cheeks blend it down I look a bit clown like I'll just be blending for a minute but don't do this and then put it on because look if I if I smile and I put the end of the brush here and I put my blush here and I don't smile it's down here you don't want blush down here smile it's up here and then not smiling it's like down here you don't want to be doing that Buff that in a little bit more. I'm gonna put, put a bit too much on. I'm gonna go ahead and bake put some powder. I get super greasy if I've not mentioned before. It drives me insane. So I like to pack this on. And it's uh, like a it's really finely milled powder. It just makes it, just stops me being greasy. Like, I don't think you understand how greasy I am. I don't need moisturizer. I don't need anything to keep my skin plump and fresh because it does it by itself. Great, right, isn't it really? It's wonderful. Dust that off. Can keep it on while you do your eyeshadow. If you want it, if you've got fallout, it'll make it easier. I don't really have much fallout. I'm gonna put some more um, highlight on in a minute. Pink, right? Pink. Let's do some pink. Um, I just want a nice kind of simple pink. I'm gonna have so let's right the pink. Shall I swap my? Let me swap my mirror because I think I'm holding this up. And can you see it? I hold it up, and then I go dark. Let me just get on with this. Swap to this one, it might be easier. So, I'm going to use the pink from the Vulcan and Vixen eyeshadow palette, and I'm going to create a little halo style. I don't want too much pigment, we're not going to go crazy. I say that every time, and then I go crazy. So, we've got this kind of like nice, like round pink I'm gonna copy the same on the other eye Do this arch around I'm only dipping lightly in my palette because I will put too much honestly I'll put too much on and I'll ruin it get my palette trick but look how good I'm doing and then I did it wrong 
very good of me to do that. Right, I've got more on this side, so we're just gonna pack the colour in. Again, I wanted a halo kind of style. Darken it up on the inside. Try get to. I've been doing a lot of cut creases lately. I think it's just because I just managed to learn it for once. Okay, right, stop it. Take a small brush. I'm going to attempt to use this terrible Smashbox brush I have. It's not terrible because it's Smashbox, it's terrible because I haven't looked after it. And it's about 10 yards. Use my lighter dusky pink. I'm just going to blend out that colour around the edge. So it's not a harsh pink. Now I've got this nice baby pink aura on my eyelid ball, wherever it is, flap. Same on this. Lightly buff. So blend the two colours together. I like to do circular motions. I'm going to drag the colours together and buff it out in a nice, simple motion. Don't forget you still kind of need that colour packed on on the inside because it's going to be the crease. I almost want to line my eyes with it. So I'm going to take a little flat brush like this, like a little lip brush. And I'm just going to go underneath. And I'm just going to add that colour in. And if it looks as harsh as this, I'm going to buff it out. The colour in. I'm not going to join them up because I don't want that effect. Same on this side, underneath. It's going to go just under your waterline. I'm going to drag it through. To the corner. Fluffy brush that I was using for the blending. And I'm just going to rub that underneath just to kind of take the harshness away. I've still got the pink on here from earlier. Oh, don't stab yourself in your eye like I just did. I just want to take the harsh line away and have a nice little under eye moment. I'll line it with some white. I've got a white liner from Wet n Wild because let's be honest, it's great. I'm just going to put that in my waterline just to open up the eye a bit. Makes me look awake. What time is it? It's 20 past nine. I don't know why, but I just, I felt like I needed to rush today. Kind of got back. I rushed, I started working out because I want to lose a few pounds. If you don't know me, I used to weigh about 19 stone. I'm very large, feel free to check out my photos. I think my eyes look a bit more open. Lovely. Hmm. Right, I've got a creamy kind of shadow, which I don't know will work with pink. Or I've got a silver kind of look, which I think will be better. Yeah, let's do the silver one. So I'm going to take my finger. I already dabbed it in a bit, as you can see. Take my finger and I'm going to rub it into the metallic cream silver shade in the Vulcan and Vixen. You kind of get a look like this. My nose is itchy. And I'm just going to place it on with my finger because I want the centre to be highlighted and have a cool halo effect. And I'm going to do the same for the other side. Also, I've been growing my nails ready for this gel video polish video. Gel video nail polish video? Gel gel polish video. I don't know what I said, I was concentrating on the eye. I like it. <laughs> She's beautiful. Let's add some more highlighter. I've already got some on, so I'm going to use the original brush. I'm not going to wet it. Just to illuminate again, because you know, I put blusher on top and then I put set powder because I kind of forgot. And 
Um, right, brows, uh, mascara. Let's get some mascara. So we're gonna take the curvature of the wand. Yes, I made it like that, because it's easy to put makeup on with. I'm gonna add it to the base of the lashes. I'm gonna jiggle it side to side and brush it through. But look how much volume is added once you've done that. Don't forget the inside. If they clump together, side to side and out. Side to side and out. Perfect. Don't forget the underneath. You don't have to do the underneath. I am because I want to make it look like something on this one. Side to side, brush out. Side to side, brush out. Side to side, brush out. Well, let's try and get the eyebrows on. Where do you put the lashes? The brows. Brush through. Brush up and through. Right. Moving. I'm going to start by doing. God, I've not done my eyebrows in ages. I feel so fancy McDancy. Don't know where uh, Right, where do we usually go? Up. God, I need waxing so bad. There, I suppose. The general outline, anyway. Pull it down. Drag it through, add a bit of volume to them. They're looking a bit sad. I'm Stars of Beverly Hills. Thank you very much for your dip brow pomade. Lovely. I'm going to make my own. Oops, mistake. Oop, big mistake. As you can see, if anyone saw my videos on TikTok, I kind of gave that up because I'm not very good at it and it was stressing me out. I much prefer YouTube because I know how to edit it. Bring it round. If you ever worry about doing your brows, like I just, I kind of map them out without full products first. Because then if you do make a mistake, it's easy to fix, like don't worry about it. I'm going to define the edge a little bit. Like that. Get your brush strokes up. And then. Brush it, brush it, brush it. Do they look somewhat similar? I don't think they do. I think this one looks bigger. But I don't care because they both slay. It's time. It's time for the lashes. Ah, uh, you know, let's not forget. It's a brilliant joke, but I can't do it. It terrifies me every time. You know what? I'll tell you something fun. We started filming for the advert. We did um, a bit of footage at a house. He's got some lovely steps with an amazing view. We had a drone. Petra did the drone shots. And the rest of the filming is going to be done in Italy. In Ostuni, if you know it. South of Italy. It's a very beautiful place. It's stunning. Stunning. <laughs> so we'll be going there. I will do a vlog. Don't worry, you'll get some nosy. You know, if you, you know, check out my other video as well. I've got that. That was like behind the scenes of what we were doing the other day. I don't know, I just kind of feel like I want to keep you all updated and you know, I've got to film you know, for a bit of content, so whatever I do, you watch. That's my plan. Most of my plan. Let's do the lips while we're waiting for them to dry and go a bit tacky. Yeah, I've got this one, which I think is going to go best. That will work better. Stick some product on the lip. I'm just going to...
So it's very bright. I don't like it. So if you don't know, these are my liquid matte lip paints. They are cruelty free, cruelty free, not cruelty free. They are cruelty free. They are vegan. They are quick drying. They are long lasting. They sit on your lips. They don't crack. They don't peel. They stay there forever. They don't transfer. They are the one you need. Well, you see, I'm going to upload them to the website any minute. <clears throat> that one on the eye. You know, one day I might do a video unedited of me putting my lashes on just so you can see how long it actually takes me. It really does take me a long time. And if you look, they're never actually like even. All of it, place. But anyway, that's kind of an update of my life. That's what's happening with the products. Is it a pink look as promised? I attempted my Romanian intro. Did it go well? I don't know. You tell me. Found excess glue on this. Is it glue? I don't really know. Who knows? But anyway, thank you for watching and please stay tuned for whatever I decide to bring out next. I'm just about to film me doing my gel nails. So even if I have the same makeup, don't be alarmed. It's all part of the plan, my lords. So uh, I'm gonna clear some space, I'm gonna get my nails ready, and we'll start doing that. All right. Thanks for watching, goodbye. See ya. Bye. <laughs>